So, good. Jean-Pierre. Hi. It's Aaron. actually nice to meet you. Um, obviously, we were introduced by Carl, mutual friend yes. of ours. And um, so we had some nice dinner, um, let's just say a lunch just now, mm -hmm. very nice. Uh, so just really tell us more about yourself um, and what you're doing and also in terms of the fund. Uh, I'm, uh, I used to be a, a trader on the, on the stock exchange, uh, especially many years in Zurich. Okay. And after that uh, I was a, a broker dealer in New York for about five years for, mm -hmm. uh, for Julius Baer. Mm -hmm. uh, came back in 2001 and built up uh, the advisory desk for Julius Baer in Zurich Got it. for a few years. And then uh, I also worked a few years for Von Tobel and EFG. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we have this, uh, this great company in Montreux where I work for. It's okay. It's called uh, Bruno Walter Finos, mm -hmm. a Montre, uh, uh, high professional small financial boutique. Okay. Uh, we are about 10 employees and uh, it's a uh, great fun to, to work there. Interesting. And how long has this fund been around for in existence or in inception? Our uh, US dollar fund uh, was uh, founded in 2000. And 11 mm -hmm. and was so far uh, very successful um, last week uh, we received six time in a row the Österreich phone prize wow congratulations thank you okay. which makes us uh, very proud and, and this rating is out of how many funds uh, they're in this uh, in this category that there are 818 funds actually okay and, uh, we made it uh, uh, just told uh, six time in a row and uh, that's good there cannot be uh, there must be uh, yes. done right there must be something good to it yep. yes okay and you have how many funds do you currently have um, in the right now we have uh, we have two funds this US very successful US dollar fund and mm -hmm. we also have uh, a euro balanced mixed fund okay which is uh, I think uh, quite successful as well. Uh, we made there uh, four and a half percent each year, mm -hmm. which is uh, quite good. Quite good. And you, and based on the funds, you focus on which specific industries and locations as well. Uh, we are we are special, especially uh, focus on on growth stocks okay. and global growth stocks, which means. Uh, the growth uh, happens in the US, China and Asia. Uh, I don't think that uh, Europe, uh, especially many growth stories, but uh, uh, only a few and we are playing these as well, but we think the major growth happens in uh, Asia or the United States. Okay. And where do you feel the whole space is leading to, just in terms of fund sizes? Because I hear a lot of that if you really grow that fund size exponentially, sometimes it's difficult to keep that same rate of return. Absolutely. Yeah, so how have you found that? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, if, uh, right now, we, we, our, the fund size is around 90, 95 million in the US dollar. And the fact that we invest also in, in big companies and really quality stocks uh, that gives us the opportunity to, to, to size it up as well. Mm. But so far we had, uh, it's not a problem, but we have a very good product, but yes. uh, we are dealing with the fact that Bruno Walter Finos is not that well known. Mm. And we think when people know our story and uh, Training procedure, and especially the performance, then there are lots uh, more space on the upside. Very good. Regarding on the side. And your location, headquarters? Headquarters is Montreux. Okay. One of the most beautiful places. Ah, yes, yes. It's beautiful Sunny. on the Lake of Geneva, and you uh, facing the, the French Alps. Yes. And so it's work and play, then, yes? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good, very good. <laughs>
And what was the reason for setting up a fund in that location? Um, that's, that comes from our history, our founder, uh, Bruno Walter. Okay. He's uh, from this area and he founded the company 2005. Mm -hmm. And I think he made a good choice in mm. founding the company okay. in Montreux. Nice. So Bruno Walter's from that, that jurisdiction, basically. Uh, absolutely. Okay, yeah, very, absolutely. Nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. And um, so obviously, the the next steps in terms of the categories you've covered, in terms of the growth you've covered, how are you finding regarding like obviously with U.S. stocks, we're seeing um, repatriation of money, corporation tax has really decreased now. Mm -hmm. So there's a massive vibrant in terms of the space and the the prices mm -hmm. of the large stocks that's increasing. How are you capitalizing on these opportunities if you are? Um. So such as the, the Googles of the world, the, the yeah. Facebooks of the world, you know, that's, you know, over the last few years, we've seen some great increases in their prices. Yes. We've seen, um, you know, the repatriation taxes have been cut. That's yes. enabling companies like Apple to try and bring back their money mm. into the country. Yeah. Um, is this part of your strategy or you're more just focused more on the stock picking and maybe the fundamentals? Um, absolutely, but that's a very good point. We, we are uh, focus, focusing this, uh, this fact uh, very closely, but uh, we, we are uh, watching these, these situations from every day and um, we also uh, covering not only the PE, we are, we are having a target from the price earning growth, mm. which I want to mention this uh, point. Uh, we just had a discussion yesterday and on a conference here in Vienna, uh, especially in the German speaking part, uh, people focusing uh, very clearly on the P, but just on the P. And, okay. and we think it depends what's your uh, what's your uh, earning growth is mm. so if you have the same earning every year it's not the same if you have a, a strong increase on the on the on the <coughs> profit margin okay so, so your focus is the the pe and the then pe growth yes pe growth exactly okay. because uh, uh, if a company has a pe of 25 or 30 uh, in the german speaking uh, part of Europe, people very <coughs> they they think that's a that's an expensive stock. Mm. I wouldn't buy it mm. or I, I sell it. Okay, which can be completely wrong. Mm. We have the same uh, situation in Switzerland. We have uh, two stocks. The one is uh, Lindage Brunley mm -hmm. or Emskemi. Okay, these stocks they 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 have been. Uh, Obviously, very expensive if you only look at the PE, but if you look at the PE growth, mm. they, they were clearly undervalued. Okay, so that's an important aspect for someone to really look at, not Absolutely. just PE, but PE growth. Absolutely. Fantastic. Do you also look at the technical analysis aspect also, um, just in terms of price movements? And taking advantage of that, or is it more just the fundamentals? No, no, we are also on, the, on this aspect. We are clo closely focusing on that. Really? Absolutely fantastic. Is there anything else that you want to add, or how can people reach you? Um, no, we are, we are building our business, uh, and uh, we are happy to meet uh, new, new, new uh, clients or yes. partners uh, can, uh, can work for mm -hmm. or, or together mm -hmm. with other. Um, as a manager. Okay, very good. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's not mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. How was it? Good? Covered it?